Hi guys, Mrs. Hoskins here. I wanted to share some information with you about Hoopla. I've mentioned it a couple of times recently in regard to a place that you can gain access to eBooks and audiobooks. Uh, Hoopla is available through the Rolling Hills Library. Um, St. Joseph Public uses a different platform called Overdrive or Libby. But Hoopla is really nice because it does not have a wait list to get the books that you are anxious to read. Um, and if you look down here, it says currently borrowed. I don't have anything currently. Um, however, it says I can borrow 12 more titles this month. That typically says six, you guys, um, but it looks like they have increased the number that we can get right now to 12, which is really awesome um, and opens up a lot of opportunity for you to try a book um, and go back for a different one if you decide you don't like the one you try at first. There are lots of different things that you can get here. Um, you can, of course, look through the things that you have borrowed or things that you have borrowed in the past. Um, there's a place for you to look at favorites, which I'll talk about here in a moment, or to see what you've read in the past um, in case you want to go back and look at something again. Um, when you're browsing, you can narrow it down to audiobooks, movies, music, comics, ebooks, or television. Um, I listen to mostly audiobooks um, through Hoopla rather than ebooks, um, and that's just a personal preference. I really like to listen to books while I drive, while I walk, while I go grocery shopping, and when I do chores around the house. So, kind of any time where um, it might just be quiet otherwise I really like to listen to books and it helps me fit in more books than I would otherwise so um, in one of the book recommendation videos that I've posted I talk about the darkest minds and so you did want you to see here that you can find the darkest minds on hoopla um, you can read the first book or any of the rest of the series including the one that I talked about um, as being the first in a sequel series so all of these are available here. Um, when you have found a book that you want and you click on it, there are a couple of different options for you. You can borrow it right away, or you can click on this heart. You can see that when it turns pink, that means it's one of your favorites. And so you can come back to that later um, if you aren't really sure what you're gonna wanna start with. Down at the bottom, it does show you some similar artists or similar authors in this case. Um, and these authors have a wide variety of things. Um, if we look at Heidi Heilig, um, she has a book called The Girl from Everywhere, and this is a good example for you of one that is available in both an ebook and an audiobook. When you borrow from Hoopla, it's pretty straightforward. Things that you have borrowed are going to show up um, in that currently borrowed section. Um, I do normally use this on my phone and not my computer, um, but it does look pretty similar. Um, on your phone, you have the opportunity to download it, um, and then it just shows up in your library um, to listen. You get them for, I believe, three weeks at a time. Um, but at the end of three weeks, if you are not done, you can go back and continue listening to it. Um, if you are maybe helping younger siblings find books um, to listen to or read as well while you're at home, um, there is a kids section. If I check mark this, it'll narrow it down um, to things that are basically middle grade and younger. Um, and so great for you guys, um, but also great for some of those younger siblings that you might be working with while you're at home. If you need any help with Hoopla, you guys, I would love for you to send me an email and let me know that. Um, if it doesn't work on your Chromebook and you need some help, please let me know. I'll get in touch with the tech and make sure that it is available for you guys um, if it doesn't work or troubleshoot why it's not working. You guys, let me know anything that you need. I'm here for you while we are away from school, um, just through email. Thanks so much.